In the annals of the 20th century, few stories are as dramatic or as influential as that of the Soviet Union. Born from the ashes of imperial collapse, it rose as a superpower that challenged the very foundations of global politics, economics, and society. Join us as we journey through the rise, reign, and fall of this colossal entity, a tale of ideals, power, and the eventual return to the pages of history. What triggered a fundamental change in a nation deeply rooted in monarchy, eventually leading to its transformation into the epicenter of a communist superpower? Let's delve deeper. The story begins with Tsarist Russia, a regime characterized by an absolute monarchy and social inequality. It was a time when the Tsar's rule was unchallenged, and the common people lived in poverty and hardship, setting the stage for a revolution. The year, 1917, marked a turning point in Russian history, the year of the two revolutions. The first revolution in February, ignited by widespread discontent, led to the abdication of Tsar Nicholas II, ending centuries of Tsarist rule. The second revolution in October, led by the Bolsheviks, overthrew the provisional government that had been established after the Tsar's abdication. The Bolshevik rise to power is a tale of strategy and willpower. Led by Vladimir Lenin, the Bolsheviks seized power and promised peace, land and bread to the war-fatigued and hungry masses. Their rise was not unopposed, and it ushered in the era of the Civil War. This Civil War, fought from 1918 to 1922, was a power struggle between the Red Army, representing the Bolsheviks, and the White Army, representing a coalition of anti-Bolshevik forces. The brutal war resulted in a Bolshevik victory, firmly establishing their rule over the country. The aftermath of the Civil War saw the formation of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, also known as the USSR, in 1922. This marked the creation of a federal socialist state, the first of its kind in the world, spearheaded by the Bolsheviks. And thus, a new chapter in world history began, with the USSR emerging as a communist superpower. What were the ideals that sparked the birth of this new nation, and how did they profoundly transform society? A key starting point is the Marxist-Leninist principles that underpinned the Soviet state. These comprise a fundamental belief in a classless society, where the means of production are owned by the community. The proletariat, or working class, would arise, overthrow the capitalist bourgeoisie, and subsequently establish a socialist state. Let's delve deeper into the policies that these principles inspired, such as collectivization. This policy was a drastic reorganization of agriculture and farming with the aim of replacing individual farms with large state-owned enterprises. Individual farmers were encouraged and often forced to pool their land into collective farms, working together for the greater good. Then, there's the policy of rapid industrialization. This was an aggressive push to modernize the Soviet state and compete with the industrial powers of the West. It was a massive shift from an agrarian economy to an industrial one, involving the establishment of heavy industries and large factories. The Cultural Revolution was another significant policy. It signified a widespread change in the cultural, intellectual, and artistic life of the Soviet Union. Traditional norms and values were challenged, and a new Soviet culture, favoring the working class and aligning with the party's ideologies, was vigorously promoted. We cannot forget the crucial role of state control in all these policies. The state was the main decision maker and had the power to enforce these policies strictly. It dictated the structure of society, economic production, and cultural expression. Parallel to this, propaganda was a powerful tool used by the state to shape public opinion glorify the government's policies, and maintain a positive image of the state. It was omnipresent, from posters, newspapers, to radio broadcasts, ensuring that the state's narrative was the dominant one. Lastly, the suppression of dissent was a commonplace tactic. Any form of opposition or criticism against the state was severely punished. This was indeed the grim side of the Soviet state, where freedom of expression and individual liberties were often curtailed to maintain the state's control and dominance. The Soviet Union, from its inception in 1922 until its dissolution in 1991, was led by a series of prominent leaders, each of whom left a distinct mark on the country's history and development. As the founder of the Soviet Union, Lenin was a key leader of the Bolshevik Revolution in 1917 and the first head of state of the USSR. He laid the foundation for Soviet politics and economics, 
based on Marxist-Leninist principles. Succeeding Lenin, Joseph Stalin was General Secretary of the Communist Party and eventually became the de facto dictator of the Soviet Union. His rule was marked by massive industrialization, collectivization of agriculture, the Great Purge, and significant contributions to the Allied victory in World War II. His tenure was also characterized by widespread repression and the establishment of a cult of personality. After Stalin's death, Nikita Khrushchev emerged as the leader. He is known for denouncing Stalin's excesses and initiating the de-Stalinization process. Under his leadership, the Soviet Union launched the first human-made satellite, Sputnik, and the first human, Yuri Gagarin, into space. The Cuban Missile Crisis was a notable event of his tenure. Leonid Brezhnev took over after Khrushchev and is often associated with the period of stagnation in the Soviet Union. His long rule was marked by a conservative approach to governance, significant arms buildup in the Cold War, and the invasion of Afghanistan in 1979. Yuri Andropov's brief tenure as leader was marked by a modest reform agenda and a continuation of the Cold War policies. He's also known for his earlier role as the head of the KGB. Konstantin Chernenko's time as leader was short and largely seen as a continuation of Brezhnev's policies and the period of stagnation. In a world fragmented by differing ideologies, one might wonder how the Soviet Union managed to establish its global authority. The answer to this can be found in the period known as the Cold War, a time characterized by an intense ideological and geopolitical struggle with Western powers, specifically the United States. This era was not marked by direct combat. Instead, it found its expression through the silent yet deadly competition of the nuclear arms race. Both superpowers stockpiled an arsenal of nuclear weapons, creating an atmosphere of fear and an ever-present threat of total annihilation. Parallel to this, space became a new frontier for competition, leading to what is famously known as the space race. The quest to assert technological superiority extended beyond the Earth's atmosphere with both nations striving for dominance that would highlight not just scientific prowess, but also ideological victory. Proxy wars further complicated the Cold War scenario. These indirect conflicts occurred in various parts of the world, as the superpowers grappled for control and influence, each supporting factions that mirrored their own political ideologies. The Soviet Union also asserted its influence in Eastern Europe and the Third World. In Eastern Europe, Soviet influence was felt through political control and economic manipulation. Meanwhile, in the Third World, the Soviet Union made strategic alliances offering support to anti-colonial movements and newly independent nations, thereby broadening its global influence and creating a block of nations sympathetic to its cause. How did a nation that once appeared unbeatable begin to crumble? Let's delve deeper into the causes. One of the major triggers was economic stagnation, a period of slow economic growth and general financial malaise, compounded with systemic issues, the deep-seated problems in the government and society, the state was faced with a formidable challenge. One man was at the helm during this period of upheaval, Mikhail Gorbachev. Gorbachev was the last leader of the Soviet Union. His attempts at reforming the Soviet system through policies like glasnost, openness, and perestroika, restructuring, were pivotal. Perestroika aimed at restructuring the economic system, and glasnost, promoting transparency and openness, were transformative reforms. However, these reforms also had unintended consequences. He also played a crucial role in ending the Cold War. His policies inadvertently hastened the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. The fall of the Berlin Wall, a symbol of the East-West Divide, was a monumental event. As cracks began appearing in the Soviet bloc, independence movements gained the momentum. The climax arrived in 1991 with the dissolution of the Soviet Union, a seismic event that reshaped the geopolitical landscape. This is the tale of the unraveling of a once invincible superpower. The Soviet Union, at its dissolution in 1991, consisted of 15 republics that became independent countries. These countries are Russia, the largest and most influential of the republics, was the core of the Soviet Union. Its capital, Moscow, was also the capital of the USSR. Ukraine, a key republic with significant agricultural and industrial resources, also held strategic importance due to its size and location. Belarus, located west of Russia, was an important industrial and agricultural center in the Soviet Union. Uzbekistan, in Central Asia, 
was known for its cotton production and is a crossroads of various cultures. Kazakhstan, the largest Central Asian Republic, was significant for its vast mineral resources and as a site for Soviet space endeavors. Georgia, located in the Caucasus region, was known for its diverse culture and history, as well as its agricultural products. Azerbaijan, also in the Caucasus, had significant oil resources, which were crucial to the Soviet economy. Latvia, another Baltic state, Latvia was known for its seaports and was a significant trading hub. Kyrgyzstan, a mountainous country in Central Asia, had a predominantly rural economy within the Soviet Union. Tajikistan, also in Central Asia, was noted for its agricultural production, particularly cotton. Armenia, a small republic in the Caucasus, has a rich cultural history and was an important industrial producer in the USSR. Turkmenistan, bordering the Caspian Sea, is rich in natural gas and oil resources. And finally, Estonia, the northernmost of the Baltic states. Estonia had a mixed economy and was more economically and culturally aligned with Northern Europe. From the depths of revolution to the heights of global power, and finally to its dissolution, the Soviet Union story is a testament to the transformative power of ideas and the inevitable change they undergo. Its legacy continues to shape the world we live in today. What are your thoughts on this monumental chapter in history? Share your insights, and don't forget to like and comment below. For more journeys through the past, subscribe to our channel.